The Multicolored Camouflage Scheme MCDCS, project was launched as a result of our troops' experience in Estonia. MCDCS is the product of a joint project involving the Dorset-based active, the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory DSTL, and the Tank Museum. The project was devised to create a camouflage scheme which would decrease detection, both by the human eye and artificial intelligence-enabled targeting tools, with the goal of tricking the enemy and creating an advantage for the camouflaged vehicle. Finally, the experiment was tested practically by soldiers based at the Army's armor center equipped with various types of sensing equipment as well as the naked eye and binoculars. In tests, MCDCS drastically reduced both detection and recognition in critical short range, 401,500 meters. An example of the Army listening to its soldiers, partnering with industry and academia, and producing a battle-winning solution. The British Army's Challenger II main battle tanks, which first joined the armored divisions in 1994 and 227, of which are still in service, could soon be retired in order to spare precious mod funds that could be dedicated towards the development of cutting-edge cyber, space, and other emerging military technologies such as unmanned and autonomous vehicles. The urgent need to spare additional funds for cutting-edge military technologies, including advanced cyber capabilities, may also force the government to force retire the British Army's fleet of 388 warrior infantry fighting vehicles that have been in service with the Army since 1987 and saw action during the Gulf War and in Bosnia, Iraq, and Afghanistan. And now, UKI's Franco-German MGCS Future Tank Program. The UK's interest in the program, first reported by Defence News, is in early stages with few details about the nature of the UK's observer status made public. Under the program, Germany and France through industry partners Nexter Systems, Krauss Maffei Wegmann and Rheinmetall, are looking to develop a replacement vehicle for both the Leopard 2 and Leclerc main battle tanks, MBTs. The British Army is currently seeking to upgrade its own MBT capability through the Challenger 2 Life Extension Program, led by Rheinmetall BAE Systems Land RBSL. Under current plans, Challenger 2's upgrade will ensure the tank's service up until 2040. In a statement, a spokesperson for the MOD told Army Technology. The UK is a world leader in tank design and proud to be involved with international partners via the European Main Ground Combat System Program. The future MGCS tank is projected to begin production in around 2035, aiming to declare full operational capability in the same year the UK's upgraded Challenger 2 fleet could potential retirement. The MOD spokesperson added. The British Army's Challenger 2 upgrade will extend our main battle tank capability up to 2040. In its story, Defence News reported that the MOD was also looking at other future tank programs. Elsewhere in the EU, last year, the Italian Ministry of Defense began early work on a joint program with Spain and Poland to develop a new tank. In evidence given to Parliament's Defense Select Committee last year, KNDS the holding company of the merged Krauss Maffei Wegman and Nexter Systems, said it offered the UK a long-term strategic route map for UK industry leading to MGCS. Elsewhere in the same evidence, the company promoted the Leopard 2 as a state-of-the-art yet non-developmental and low-risk alternative to the Challenger 2 life extension program as a gap filler until MGCS is in production. At the time, KNDS wrote. We bring a broad range of immediate solutions, Boxer T-40, Leopard 2, capabilities, technologies to support medium-term programs, artillery and ammunition, and our appetite to invest in the UK, IP, research and development, will lead to a sustainable UK industrial footprint, making KNDS the natural partner for the UK and future programs like MGCS. In 2018, the MGCS consortium showed a precursor to the future vehicle at Eurosatory, showcasing a Leopard 2 hull fitted with the lighter turret of the Leclerc MBT. A key attribute of the vehicle was its lower weight, allowing it to traverse lower load bridges. The UK's Challenger 2 upgrade is still on hold, pending the publication of the Integrated Review of Defense, Security and Foreign Policy. 
A decision on whether to proceed with the program was due last December, however little has been revealed since the government decided to postpone publication of the review. The review had been expected to be published in mid-February, however, this was recently cast into doubt by Prime Minister Boris Johnson. In written evidence to the Defense Select Committee, the MOD signaled its preference for a Challenger 2 upgrade over purchasing off-the-shelf tanks, such as Leopard 2, saying the upgraded Challengers would have the same level of lethality but offer better survivability and similar levels of mobility. The MOD wrote. The Challenger 2 Life Extension Project will be the first significant upgrade since it entered service in 1998, once in service, it will be comparable and in certain areas superior to the latest version of Leopard 2 and Abrams. The Army's future tank may not be a tank. While the M1 Abrams tank still has life in it yet, the Army is starting to begin the thinking and planning process for a future tank, which is really exciting, because it might not be a tank," Kaufman said. It is decisive lethality, and what that decisive lethality is will be determined by academia, our science and technology community within the Army and industry. The Army will choose a path in 2023 on how it plans to replace the Abrams, and some of the ideas cropping up in discussions have been everything from a ray gun to a Star Wars-like four-legged creature that shoots lasers Kaufman said, but the reality is that everything is on the table. We have to get away from these paradigms that we created that decisive lethality must come from a tank Kaufman said. It may be a tank in the end, and that would be great, but we need choices for our soldiers so we can really move into a position of lethal advantage over the enemy. Kaufman is spearheading that effort along with some more near-term plans to replace the Bradley fighting vehicle with an optionally manned fighting vehicle and bring online the Army's armored multi-purpose vehicle, AMPV, and a light tank called the Mobile Protected Firepower, MPF, system. The One Star is in charge of the next generation combat vehicle cross-functional team, housed under the Army Futures Command, tasked to modernize the force. The UK fields just 227 Challenger 2s, compared to the 6,333 tanks the US military operates. In 2019, London proposed upgrading just 148 of the 227 tanks to a modern standard, leaving it with one of the smallest, albeit effective, tank forces in the world. The Pentagon is also shedding a small number of tanks. This year, the US Marine Corps disbanded its entire tank fleet, arguing it no longer needed them as it refocused on fighting China in the South China Sea. The Marines sent the 120M1A1 Abrams tanks to mothballs, but the service could conceivably replace the tanks with smaller, lighter vehicle with tank-like firepower. 